I'm Tatum Skipper and welcome to Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back. Uh, today our guest has been Early Learning Coalition of Northwest Florida. Just got done talking to Lynn Eldridge, director of that organization. Here now with Susan Gage. <laughs> Susan, uh, you've certainly seen before, if you're a regular viewer of the show, is here today to talk about Art Cadu coming mm -hmm. up soon mm -hmm. uh, in Shivers Park in downtown Chipley. When we come back, we're going to talk to Susan about Art Cadu, about that entire effort, how you can get involved, and uh, the fact that you really need to mark your calendars. It's a free event and one you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. As mentioned, our guest uh, today is Early Learning Coalition, now with Susan Gage. Susan, tell me your exact job title. I don't know. Um, you, you do everything that Lynn no, doesn't want to do, exactly. I know. Exactly. No. Um, my title is Community and Provider Support Manager. So I, Huge I, tag. It just... Yeah, and you know whatever needs to be done, we we'll just try to do it with excellence. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I hesitated to even. I mean, because people who who know ELC in this mm -hmm. area certainly know you. Yeah. Uh, you're always around. Talk to Lynn as always. Got some great stuff Listen about. Listen to Lynn is what she did. You yeah. Listen well, to Lynn. you know, I I I'd like to be. I have to flatter myself and make, make believe I'm having some input there. Yeah. Lynn doesn't learn anything from me. I learn from Lynn every time. Always. But what we're here to talk about now is Art Could Do. Yeah. This is your fourth annual. Yes. Huge opportunity uh, for children and families. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about what they can experience coming up in uh, Shivers Park. Okay, so Art Could Do, the whole concept is to create this event, this environment for children and families. A free event where a child can come in and explore different types of art. How much does it cost? It's free, Paul. Free. 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 And it's a, it's, a great, it's a great thing, just to, to say it simply. Um, uh, you know, it's from 10 to 1, so a good three hours, not too long. People on a Saturday. On a Saturday. People aren't dying from heat because it's at a good time of the year. Um, but just enough time to, to bring the family and watch the children get engaged in something there at Shivers Park. What is the actual date? April the 23rd. April the 23rd. Yeah. I know it's Earth Day. It's also Earth Day. Okay. But um, April the 23rd. I know we, we have different weekends sometimes, kind of depending on when Easter is. But right. always around that springtime um, with the... Uh, with the event itself. Showing some footage from um, the past Good. several years yeah. right now. Yeah. This is not a county fair. Correct. It's not your traditional festival. Mm -hmm. It's not an opportunity to go spend money on tchotchkes and lots mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. This is truly art based. Right. And, and child based. Well, and that's, yes, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And, and because of that art component and the the age group to which you're trying to appeal, mm -hmm. which is what? Age group, we like to say birth up through probably 50 years old because everybody can be a kid. But really, <laughs> um, uh, really that that uh, preschool or that, that t toddler stage when they're, we're starting to to touch and get curious all the way up to maybe middle school. You know, you have some some little budding Picassos and, and Van Goghs out there that given the opportunity and the environment, they just let it go. And you're just really surprised at what they can create. You know, Paul, and it's not just painting or, or the, the typical art thing. It could be dance. It could be music. It could be um, uh, sculpture. We've got clay out there. And then we've got some hands-on type uh, uh, wings and, and butterfly wings and guitars and things that the kids can create, homemade musical instruments and, and things like that. So it's a very broad concept of art, but again, sticking with the purpose of, of bringing families together for an event that is strictly related or geared towards children. Well, and like you say, it has to do with media, but also performance art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's interesting to me is that um, I think we probably should admonish parents to bring something that you don't mind the kid getting dirty in. Exactly. Because half the things out mm -hmm. there, they're going to come away sandy, mm -hmm. with paint, mm -hmm. with clay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you, you have face painting, but what I'm talking about is getting into hand the paint. paint. That's right. We have this wonderful event where we have in the past, hopefully we can continue it this year, where we allow them to paint with their feet. So what the child is actually doing is stepping in these, these trays of paint and then allowing them to walk on a canvas. And you can watch some parents are like, oh, I don't know if we want to do this. And we're like, trust us, this is good. And, you know, you just see the kids kind of get kind of, you know, nervous at first. But once they get the hang of it, they're back for more and just this feet painting. 
the chalk sidewalk art. Yes. That, that's something. And, and people say, oh, I can't believe the city allows you to do this. Hey, after the first rain, it's gone. It's gone. But uh, last year, we actually uh, had a little bit of contesting. Absolutely. I'd like to develop that a little bit further this year. Absolutely. That was sort of something that I took a little yeah, bit of liberty I, I, with. I, we can definitely leave that up to you. You did an excellent job of, well, of doing we, that. We have fun. We get a chance. And it's one of those situations where, obviously, we're there on your behalf to mm -hmm. document the event. But mm -hmm. we get a, we have a ball. Yeah. Um, you, you, we get to enjoy those children. And I dare say there's any galleries of photos that we ever put up on social media that gets any more attention oh, wow. than art could do. That's wonderful to hear. You've got the bubbles. Yes. Uh, that's the, huge. The, now, I know that's bubbles. not art per se, but it mm -hmm. definitely is imaginative, uh, imagination yes. uh, 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 developing, I guess, for the very young mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. But they'll get in there and they'll have the big wands mm -hmm. and uh, bubbles everywhere. Mm -hmm. What's the best part for you? This is our fourth annual. What's mm -hmm. the best part for you now that you've got this thing sort of under control? Uh, I, I, I say that uh, with, with tongue in cheek, but right. Right. but you've got a you've got your idea formulated right. now. Now it's just a matter of making it happen. So what's been the best part? The best part has been watching the community come together and put on an event with no expectation at the end, other than to provide this activity for the children. You know, we don't charge vendors to come up and set up a booth. We just say, come set up, make sure you have a hands-on type activity, and just let the magic happen. Let let this, the magic of the day just, just go. And I've yet to see anybody come away in the three years, and now our fourth year, saying this was a waste of time. Or, I didn't have fun or you know I haven't heard anything negative maybe they just don't want to tell me because they know I might be you know, I haven't heard anything negative and, and to me that that says it's a success when, when I can follow a family or watch a family interact with these different activities for two maybe three hours because we have some people that are there right when the gates open and they're there until we're telling them you know we've got to go close it down um, and just know that their children have had a great time that mom and dad haven't had to spend any money you know to, to allow this and that they can walk away. And Paul, one of the really cool things is a lot of the things that we do, we're doing with, with items that they have at home. So hopefully that parent's paying attention and saying, oh, I can do this with my kid. You know, this doesn't take, you know, $30 worth of stuff from an art store. This is this is what we have here at home. And just watching the, the mom and the dad or the grandparents interact with their children, there's nothing better than that. Saturday, April 23rd, when they arrive at 10 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. they'll come through one of the couple of gates that mm -hmm. go into Shivers Park, yes, sir. and they'll actually register. They'll actually... Uh, yeah, um, we, we, we kind of want to know where you're coming from, you know, to see, you know, are we drawing people from outside of uh, or the Washington County area? Unfortunately, we are, and it's been growing each year. We're, we're very excited about that. So we might ask, how many people did you come in your party, and, and can you tell us your zip code? And we're just keeping a little record of, of, of where people are coming from. We've had people come from as far away. I had somebody from I think Louisiana or something like that last year, as far away as Franklin County in Florida, and some people up in Alabama last year came down. When you enter the park mm -hmm. uh, after having registered, there are signs, kind of mm -hmm. like the old European street signs, mm -hmm. uh, finger painting, face mm -hmm. painting, bubbles, Dirt, music, yep, yeah, food, food. Mm -hmm. bathrooms. Yep. At that point, people decide which way they want to go, mm -hmm. and they can literally spend, now it's only three hours, 10 mm -hmm. to 1. Right. It's at the uh, relatively cool part of the year. Mm -hmm. That part of April, it's mm -hmm. still moderately, right. it, as far as, and yet there's a lot of shade, a lot of trees. Yes. There's yes. sunshine. If you want to be in the sun, there's shade. Mm -hmm. There's a pavilion there. Mm -hmm. So people can pretty much do what they want. They want to get there and sit and watch from afar. They can as a parent or a grandparent, mm -hmm. if you want to be with your kids. Now, they can simply follow that path, and because of the walking path mm -hmm. there, you do have have all of these vendors arrayed. We say vendors. When you think of vendors, you think of people selling things. Mm -hmm. In this case, these people are providing opportunities yes. for learning, right. and mainly all with an art underlying mm -hmm. theme. Mm -hmm. You've got the Washington County Arts Council, of right. which you're a member. Right, right. And the Arts Council, I'm glad you mentioned that, um, sponsors an art contest each year. And they offer a first, second, third prize for um, uh, the, they select the, the, I don't know what they call it, the best drawing, but they select a first, second, third prize from all the submissions of um, children who live or go to school in Washington County. And you make those awards on that day? Yes, we do. In the past, uh, I know last year, 
you actually had a couple of members of the Chipley High School band that mm -hmm. were there, yep. and I asked one little one lady, uh, Emily Smith, yes. to come up and yes. do the national anthem to play the national anthem. Uh, do you remember what instrument she had? Um, I do not remember. I wish I could. She'd get very upset with me right now if she knew I could. Yeah, remember. I hate that. But uh, you did it right on the spot, and yeah. she did it right on the spot. Oh, you oh. Know? and that was that last year or the year before? That was last year. Yeah, I believe it was last year, and, and she's actually an active member of the U.S. Air Force now. I know awesome that. Awesome job, but yeah. uh, one a success story from, yes. from our local educational yes. system, certainly. But my point is that you never know what you're going to see. You You've got a, a bunch of little ducklings, all these little kids over yes. there that are doing the bubbles or the hand or the. I love the um, the sand sculptures mm -hmm. where they're just simply right. pouring sand. So very fortuitous thing. The city, for some reason, dumped this big dump truck full of sand right in the middle of the park. And we, we kept waiting for it to get distributed because typically they'll distribute it and put it over the playground. And it never did. So we called them up and said, you know, we're getting ready for Art Canoe. Can we play in the sand? Because i got to figure out how we're going to keep kids out of sand. And you, you just can't do that. And they said, no, I'll go ahead and use it. So we turned it into an event, had a, had a tent over the sand, all these sand toys. And I think there was some children because that's where they stayed the whole entire time. Mom and dad sitting over there having a good time, kids having a great time sand flying like sand's going to do but it's what they needed it's what what they felt drawn to and who am i to say no don't do that is that sand pile still there it is it's shrunk a little bit i asked the city can you refurbish and i haven't got a real good answer on that one yet we'll so. have to see maybe we can help build that fire i would love that it. was one of the single biggest focal points yes and we didn't do anything event. it was just there Isn't yeah. it great? It's great. and that sort of underscores everything that you and lynn always say is that you don't have to spend a lot of money you right. just need some time right and the attention mm -hmm. and say hey here's what you can do and not admonish them about not getting dirty absolutely there were kids that came away from there pretty they were i say they were dirty they were just covered with paint they were covered with chalk they right. were covered with sand they right. weren't really dirty no they, they, they were, were doing the job of a child they are learning through play and i, and I love it when you guys say it that way the mm -hmm. job of a child is to play mm -hmm. at this uh, event you can eat and you can drink mm -hmm. um what how does that work so at the event again the purpose isn't to make money but we do want to provide some some refreshments if, if a family feels like they need something so we typically sell um, water hot dogs and cotton candy kind of a limited fare but um, it very reasonably priced almost practically giving it away which is good again it's not about making money um, but a chance you know like I said in case you get hungry but you know you Paul you can bring a picnic you can bring your own stuff you know the city of Chipley is wonderful about letting us use Shivers Park and it's an open park heck you can even have your birthday party out there we've had some people have a birthday party going on in our isn't that wonderful it's like, oh, and it's that is not. the cool thing is that yeah. you don't reserve the park exclusively right you've got the swings over there mm -hmm. now we've got some footage and we're showing that right now of Lynn doing face painting yeah when she got there last year she right. said where's the face painting that's right Lynn just really makes that connection. She does. In that, in that respect. With, with the children. And we've actually started planning for this year. Where are we going to put face paintings so that, that the traffic flow continues on? Because it is such a, a big draw. You know, and Lynn is so cute. She's not drawing just a little bitty. I mean, the whole face becomes the canvas, which is, I think the children really enjoy that. So, um, you know, the face painting again, the, the, the sand, the art. And Paul, we always, always, always would love to have new vendors, new organizations, new whoever you are, come out and, and volunteer and, and just have a good time and join us at Art Canoe. The library has participated yes, for several yes, years now. Yes. Mm -hmm. The library, um, Head Start, Tri-County Head Start here in Washington County. Garden Club. The Garden Club, I think that maybe in the past, I haven't didn't see them last year, but we had the Arts Council. We've had um, local child care providers that work in... Yes, and yeah. I'm glad that you said that because I thought of it earlier and I forgot again. Your providers have the opportunity to mm -hmm. showcase their uh, offering. Right. Really, mm -hmm. they can d distribute uh, literature about right. their uh, mm -hmm. child care facility. Mm -hmm. And shame on them if they don't. Really? Yes, what an opportunity yes. there. Um, Target audience right there. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And they can give them kind of a little taste of the kind mm -hmm. of activities that they enjoy yes. at their facility. Yes. Um, what kind of feedback have you had from those providers? Um, I think what, what I've heard from our, the providers that we work with is that it's been a wonderful opportunity because you're able to, again, reach that target audience. That you're reaching families who have young children. Um, you're reaching people who might not know about 
you know, th th this program is offering, or the Child Care Center is offering VPK in the summertime, or maybe they're doing a school age special program in the summertime. So it's an opportunity for that small business, that child care, to capitalize on this marketing opportunity. And again, they're not having to do anything different than what they already do. They already are engaged with children on a daily basis in a, in a developmentally appropriate learning kind of way. They just kind of bring it out of their local center and bring it to their little booth area in the park. Have you gotten any feedback from uh, providers of whether or not they've generated any new uh, customers through this? Actually, yes, we have. They said, um, you know, almost every year we say we've gotten probably about four or five families that didn't know about us who, who learned about us from, from Arcadu. We've had churches who come and set up booths and they talk about their vacation Bible school. So we know that it's an effective way of getting their ministry message out. Um, the library comes and sets up. We have other um, businesses that serve families. Um, insurance and um, uh, I'm trying to think, health department has come out a couple of times. Screening um, uh, fiddlers that are uh, PAEC, they've come out. So just kind of a smorgasbord of, of people who, who impact children and families. Now this is a totally free event mm -hmm. um, unless they choose to to buy some of the food, mm -hmm. and even at the end you're giving the food away that's left over. So right, you know, right. <laughs> yeah, what do I want with 600 hot dogs? No, I'm kidding. It, it's a free event, <laughs> and as all free events, there is a cost yes, associated. There is. So there are there people is. who come to the table yes, and yes. make that happen. So right. when we say it's free, we want to be sure that people realize it's free to them, mm -hmm. but it's not free to make happen. Exactly. So who are some of your sponsors? Some of our sponsors um, are you guys are a sponsor. Um, of course, the Early Learning Coalition um, is, is is the primary sponsor. Um, we are in the process of securing additional sponsorships. So, Paul, I'll have to come back so I can read the list. I don't, Head Start. I, Head Start. Um, the Washington County Arts Council. Um, Walmart historically has, has given us support. Piggly Wiggly has given us um, in-kind um, uh, elements, food, things like that. So truly a community event. It really is a community event. And shame on anybody who doesn't want to get involved. I mean, hey. Yeah. yeah, and um, if you've got children, uh, as uh, uh, Susan points out, really no age limit, um, but this is geared towards those formative early learning years. Mm -hmm. April 23rd. April 23rd. To Saturday. Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful, balmy it's day. It's going to be a beautiful day. 70 degrees. <laughs> and if you want to sit and get, touch up your tan, there are areas there that are you can areas. do that. That's it's nice right. and sunny. That's you can right. sit in the shade. If you've uh, got skin cancer issues like I do as an old guy, you can sit in the shade and watch your kids from a ways away. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any better event, any better run event, mm -hmm. and any event that children come away with any more value. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, to me, the single most important thing is those kids and families are working together. Absolutely. They're they together. get a little direction. They're taking some ideas from the outside. But if you just want to spend that quality time with your child, mm -hmm. you're not turning them loose. Yeah. You're actually there side by side learning with them. Mm -hmm. And I think the end result probably is that so many of the tenants that you espouse throughout the year are, are illustrated there mm -hmm. from, uh, hey, it's important that you put sunglasses on your kids mm -hmm. to the to uh, uh, learning is the child's uh, work. Um, right through the whole uh, smorgasbord of, of tenants that you guys embrace, mm -hmm. Arcadu seems to just sum the whole thing up. Right, so uh, right. good luck on this year's event. Thank We're you. certainly going to be there. Thank you. We've been showing uh, footage from the uh, past several years' events yeah. uh, as we've been speaking. April 23rd, Shivers Park is downtown Chipley. Mm -hmm. If you can call it Shivers if you want, but stand back. If you ask somebody <laughs> who's been here a long time, they're probably going to try to smack you. It, it is pronounced Shivers, but we don't care. You can call it Shivers. Mm -hmm. It's in downtown Chipley off 5th Street. Um, uh, can I give a a number just in case anybody Absolutely. wants to call if you um, are interested in, in participating want to be a vendor or just want to find out more about art could do don't hesitate to give me a personally call or our office a call and that number is six three Let's see, six nine three zero eight zero eight. Can you run that number? That's on the screen right awesome. now. Awesome, as we speak. You guys are good at this. Thank you. Um, but or you can um, go find us on Facebook. It's elcnwf.org, and we also have an Art Kadoo Facebook page. So if you want to find out about Art Kadoo, there's really no reason why you can't. You just gotta. And you can actually go to the website, which is artkadoo.com. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah. and thanks for being here. Hey, Lynn. it's my pleasure. Uh, I appreciate you and Lynn both coming. Um, ELC, such a fundamental, such a just an important part of the fabric of this community. Mm -hmm. Now partnering with the school here, yeah. as Lynn and I discussed. So uh, more and more, you guys are becoming better known. Um, and shame on all of us for not having made that happen sooner. But uh, best of luck going forward. I know you guys have challenges, but we look forward to seeing you at Arcadu, and, uh, and thanks for being here. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Uh, recently here, talking to Susan Gage with Early Learning Coalition of Northwest Florida, talking about Arcadu, Saturday, uh, April 20. 23rd, 10 to 1, very short 
and sweet. Uh, if you're a father and uh, you want to go fishing or hunting in the afternoon or you, you want to watch one of the games that's on, still going to give you plenty of time for that. If you're a, uh, a flea market person and you want to hit those early in the morning and then bring your children, I think this is exactly the right time of day to, to get the, the largest number of people uh, and it's going to be a beautiful day. We'll be right back.